family, friends, YouTube, <laughs> members, subscribers, chosen. Pick one. I love you all. Thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes. And I know you said, what in the heck is going on? But let me tell you, I have been really having a great time with the Most High. I have some good downloads. I have some questionable things. I ain't gonna lie. And I wanted my first reading out. I originally... Um, I did a reading uh, for my members only to let them know what was going on. Uh, but uh, for the general public or the general um, watchers, I wanted uh, to kind of just get back on the, you know, back on the ball with consistency. And I wasn't allowed. I actually had to, first I had to uh, make a trade. I ain't gonna lie. So I had to give up something. And I had, that was between me and God. And I did it. And I had to wait three days, and I did that. And then I got a tour. I was, how can I say this? Um, I was led to a room. I was able to see a room, almost like um, a factory. There was like an assembly line. And I saw the eggs, you know, one, they were in the thing one at a time, eggs lined up going through the machine. And I said, great, that's new life. And my guide said, or my angel said, I don't know what reference you guys like to use, but he said, he said, now look. And I looked, uh, I saw the egg go in, but I looked at the other side of the machine and what was coming out were skulls, okay? Now, that's when um, my connection stopped, all right? So I've been trying to revisit it, and I'm not uh, an interpreter. Uh, a true gift interpreter, uh, they have a different connection with how we see dreams or uh, downloads and then how everyone else does, kind of like, a uh, medium isn't a healer. They have their own unique uh, connection. So uh, a true interpreter would maybe have, would be able to say something profound to you. Uh, I don't carry that title. I, I, I don't even know what title I would clarify myself as. I'm not going to lie outside of cuckoo sometimes, but I love the Lord and I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. So I'm going to keep doing it until I'm told otherwise. You know what I mean? Um, uh, but when I Googled the eggs, I saw new life, uh, you know, abundance, stuff like that for the dream interpretation. And when I Googled the skull, I saw the same thing. I said, well, wait a minute. How can an egg and a skull have just about the same definition for a dream interpretation? So... Prior to that, I had to think back. You know, sometimes you got to take it back. I was, prior to that, I was given a, like a whole bunch of abundance coming in, but I've been seeing that for a while. I've also been seeing some changes. So the things that I'm seeing on the news, I'm not surprised. Um, for those things, I just want to say during this season, your discernment is going to have to go beyond your sight. Okay. I'm, guys, I can't stress this enough. Your discernment has to go beyond your sight. I know we're coming from a season of show and prove, but we're stepping into a season of spiritual discernment, okay? So if you have not spent some time with your maker, I suggest you make some plans, okay? Just to reinforce, reassure, uh, reconnect, you know, even repent. Okay, whatever it is, get back to that most high, get back to that most high and make sure y'all good, make sure y'all good. And you just ask for that covenant, you know, to be strengthened of protection from any and every and all, you know, that is against your growth, your assignment, your placement, 
you know, whatever it is that you're supposed to be fulfilling the prophecy you're supposed to be fulfilling in this lifetime in this skin suit. You know what I mean? Huh. So, um, anybody want to share on my eggs and skull? You're more than welcome to put that in the comments. Um, but I did Google. So if you just Googling, I did that. <laughs> All right, I ain't gonna lie. I, I saw the abundance, the fertile, the new life, uh, the changes, uh, the endings, things like that. Um, but yeah, uh, the new season uh, of discernment is you're gonna have to. It's gonna have to surpass your sight. That's how. That's how. That's how I'm getting it. Okay. Um, this is gonna be a general reading for everyone. This is for all. Uh, watchers, all viewers, all signs, okay? Members also included. Um, I'll definitely get back on the ball, but I kind of just now getting my release to uh, of, of my commitment. So now I can get back to work. But when you have to, I, I think a lot of us are going to have to sacrifice to give up something. And that new life is definitely, but the, for those that, how can I say that? For those that have been, hmm, help me. For those that have been coming into abundance that you feel that may have been delayed, or you feel like you've kind of been, um, kind of, um, uh, like on a plateau, you know, you're not really taking it up a notch. You're not, you're stuck at the starting line, things like that. If you feel that you've been going through that, um, then that's probably something on your heart that God has been um, asking you to give up. Okay. Um, whatever that may be, what cigarettes, drinking, uh, I don't know, smoking, uh, playing on your phone, wh whatever that may be, porn, you know, because this is going to be an exchange, okay? But the death, it will bring new life. This death will bring, if you end it, I, I'm telling you as sure, <laughs> as sure as I know my name, I'm telling you the new life is there. The new life is there, all right? Whew. All right, y'all, here we go. We're starting with the wisdom. Um... I'm sorry, the animal spirit oracles, because is nature talking or what, right? Nature is really talking. The birds are chirping. Um, nature is talking, okay? Um, coyote is coming in in reverse. In the upright, this talks about trusting a divine detour. It literally reads that. Okay, trust in the divine detours becomes sometimes those roadblocks and those stoppages are just meant to be. Sometimes rejection is protection. Well, family, this ain't one of them. You don't trust a mother lover. You trust God. You hear me? I just said your discernment has to go beyond your sight. Your discernment has to go beyond your sight. It has to. This season, it has to. There is no more room for, I don't know if it's my cuckoo. I don't know if I'm overthinking. I don't know. I don't know. I'm telling you, not this season. Not this one. Okay? Believe me. You'll save yourself a lot of heartache a lot of pain, a lot of confusion, uh, fear. Let your discernment go beyond your sight, okay? Life is speeding up. And look at the, the <laughs> what is right. Guys, you don't have to believe me. You know I love you, all right? But remember, I, 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 I come in, I give you what I'm feeling. The cards bring it out. That's how this goes. That's how this channel goes. You know that. I give you my download first. The cards bring it out. It's not the other way around. Okay? Life is speeding up. Timeline is shifting. Split is happening. Okay? Tend to your business. Tend to your business. 
okay? Tend to your business. And you don't have to do so with a hard heart. Be gentle. This is not a rage clean. This is not one of those times where you rage and you cleaning the cabinets and you throwing out the old clothes. You know, we talk about that all the time. I talk about that with all of my signs. The power you get from rage cleaning is a clean house. It's beautiful. But you should have been working on cleaning from love. Put your spirituals on. Put some smoky on. Good Lord. Dance with that washing machine. I'm trying to tell you. Okay? Do it with love. All right? Take care of your business. There is a shift, baby. And it's going to shift and shift and shift again. That's what's coming. Boom. 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 Um, it's a shamalama ding dong. It is a shamalama ding dong. There are so many portals. There's going to be a split. The birth is coming. I, 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 <laughs> I can't even... I don't have the words. I don't have the words. But I started getting overwhelmed. So I said, wait a minute. Let me get back to my, my assignment. Because, you know, sometimes we get caught up in all of the hoopla. Worrying about, you know, I don't need nothing else on my plate. I'm going to say it like that. I had to redirect myself and refocus. You know what I mean? I don't need nothing else on my plate. Let me have a center for this energy. This is Vision Quest. We're doing the spread with the Father of Air. So direct. So intelligent. Think. Clarity under the deck. Six of Swords. Six of Air. Think, people. Think and see beyond. <laughs> you, I'm telling you. <laughs> Do not fall for the banana in the tailpipe. I cannot be more clear, okay? Do not fall. Get away from it. That's what this is. Be clear about where you're going. Don't worry about what's going on around you. Don't worry about what's going on behind you. Be clear about where you're going, okay? Stay focused. Crown this energy. I'm here and I want it, but over there so okay crown this energy mm -mm. there we go all right let's see what's crowning i have a two of wands coming in reverse to a fire and i have the daughter of air coming in reverse now the daughter of air is the feminine of the page of swords for this deck okay now have, if these are in the upright, I would say, okay, you're learning how to uh, or when to move, you know, you're learning when to move to a fire is, is uh, choosing a path, taking a step towards it. You're, it's an action energy. Okay. An energy of action. All right. Now what's crowning you right now? If I just gave you that ex explanation for these two cards, what's crowning you? Don't do shit. Don't say shit. Hello? Let me start. Okay. I'm sorry. Was that too fast? I'm sorry. I got excited. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let, let me approach this a little more gently. Family. Family, don't do shit and don't say shit. That's all I got. <laughs> I am so serious. I'm laughing, but I am so serious. Don't do shit. Don't say shit. Don't do shit. Don't say shit. It don't have nothing to do with, if it's not directly in your assignment, it, <laughs> don't do it. There is 10 of air right here. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of changes. There are, there's some endings coming. Okay. The 10 of air tens are endings. There's some, there's some betrayals. There's backstabs. You know, that's what re this would represent if this would be traditional tarot. But I like this one because it literally says negative thinking. If you get involved, that's all that's going to lead you to is negative thinking. Don't do shit. Don't say shit. Keep your logic about you. Keep your wits about you. You understand? Let your discernment see beyond what you see. Because anything you see, you can't trust. 
You can, what that say? It came in reverse. Trust in divine detours. In reverse. Don't trust shit. Nothing. Nathaniel Jones. Hello? What's working against this energy? What's in the way right now? What's working against, thank you so much, the nine of water. But I want what I want when I want it. I just want to be happy. But what about me? What I want this, but this is mine, but, but it's my time, but, 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 but I did the right thing. It's, it's, you know, that's all I need is that all I need is I got the money. I just need the love or, or, or I don't need the love. I just want the money and what you want don't matter right now. This is not about, this is global energy. This reading is not about, that's why I had to be general. You don't even understand. This ain't personal, <laughs> my love. What I'm trying to do is give you this to keep you as sane as possible in this process because the cuckoo has been let out the clock to release cuckoo on the world. I'm trying to tell you, nine of water, joy, peace. I want it. I want to relax. I want to be in the waters. I want to be in the spiritual waters of abundance and grow. And, you know, I'm, I'm pretty, I want to be in a good place. All I really need is just this and then I'll be fine. That right there is going to work against you because what you're doing is you're comparing where you are, where you think you should be and what you want to what you're being told. And right now you're being told, don't say shit, don't do shit, period. Absolutely mother loving period. What's coming in with that? The 10 of swords is still there. This has to pass. This ending has to pass. This season of this 10 of swords has to go through. It has to go through. Do not get caught in this whirlwind. Where is this coming from? What brought this on, please, for this energy? The nine of air, the four, uh, it's the portals, the four wands, completion. You even see it. The completion of hurt. Is some uh, is some reckonings happening, guys? That's why I love Vision Quest because the energy is different. It even reads different on the definition. I always say with Four of Wands energy, we're talking about balance. We're talking eleven eleven energy, so we already know it's um, uh, spiritual assistance um, and participation. But it is portal energy. The portals are coming through. There's going to be a split. I'm telling you. This nine, this hurt has reached a capacity. That's why probably that 10, is the 10 still there? The sun is there, the realization, the reveal, the light's coming on. The light's coming on. The sun energy, remember, it's the happiest card because it's whimsical, fun, and childlike. But it's the brightest because it's going from a 40 watt bulb to a hundred watt bulb. If you've ever done that dumb shit in your life like me, you believe me, you twist the bulb and it blinds the crap out of you. Literally, you'll shake right there on the ladder because it's so overwhelming. But that's the sun that's come, that's the bright energy that's coming in over this hurt, pain, betrayal, anxiety, depression, sleepless nights, headaches, whatever, but balance is being restored. Completion is coming into play. The light's coming on, okay? Let's push this forward. Where are we going with this for the collective? Future energy, please. Where's this going? The six of air is coming back, six of swords. So we talked about getting away, staying away, clarity, six of swords, energy is moving out of toxic energy into peaceful energy, moving away from the storm into calm waters, okay? And then we have the star because this is going to reveal, this is coming in sideways because some people are still hidden, that's coming in hidden, um, 
Yeah, I want to keep it like that. Um, yeah, some people are still hidden. So those of you that kind of like have been trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing, almost, okay? I, I know you feel like you're like, this is just a crock of crap. It's not going anywhere. I'm having these dreams. I don't know what's going on. Almost, baby. Hold on, okay? This has to pass first. This, this is global. It has nothing. It's not personal. It's global. But as soon as that passes, you can step into the upright, into your position, so you can be on the stage and do what you're assigned to do, okay? Star energy is Aquarian energy. We're talking balance. We're talking favor. We're talking the limelight. Uh, we're talking having basically, you know, uh, the attention. This is kind of like you're on the stage and the spotlight's on you and the most high says, go ahead, baby, let me see you do your thing. Remember how your parents used to do that when the company come over? Go ahead, baby, let me see you dance. You know, almost, hold on. Almost. All right. It's coming. The sun is still here. What is no. Okay. Um, the sun is still here. So we're coming into a season of brightness of things being in the light, no longer in the dark, which is why I said your, it, your, your discernment has to go beyond what you see, what you see with your eyes, with your flesh eyes, you have to go beyond. I'm telling you, if if you said to me, uh, uh, green eyes, listen, two plus two is four. It's been four all my life. The season that's coming, well, you got, I got to pray about it. I, hold on. No, hold on. I, I hear you. I see it. I see it right in front. But just hold on because I got to pray about it first. That's where I'm at. Now, where y'all going to go? I don't know. I can. I, that's my suggestion. Pray about everything. Pray about, make sure the two plus two is four, because in your dream, it's going to be zero plus zero. And you done paid all good, good, hard working dollars thinking you getting four and you're getting nothing. I'm telling you, baby, especially for business deals, jobs, there's uh, some cons here. Oh, mother, I, I'm so sorry. I love uh, Queen of Pentacles. She's just so earthy, like, the, the, especially in this deck. It's a different, mm, how can I say that? You know, Queen of Cups for, for Rider Tower is, is my Nana's titties. But for this deck, my Queen of Earth, the Queen of Pentacles, is so comfortable to me. You have no idea. Just very, very, very comfortable energy. Um, but, uh, this, she's coming in to say that there's a con here. Um, be careful switching jobs, uh, do your homework, do your research. And then after you find all the evidence that you feel comfortable with, pray about it and ask God, look, God, give God everything you learn and ask him to give it back to you. Fix it and give it back. Give me the picture. Give me the okay. You know, give me the understanding. You know, give me the green light. Give him every, listen, Lord, I did, listen, I, I went on the interview. I talked to such and such, and then I met with such and such, and it seemed like it's pretty cool. And then I Googled that, and it said this, and then in that, and um, give it some time with your maker. Um, this, you got to see beyond your eyes because there is, a loss coming. It's going to be a loss and it's going to be a loss that uh, is going to seem like um, people are like they were scammed, you know, um, seven of earth energy. If I had to to explain it, you have a, a let's say you have a, a, a garden, right? You plant 10 seeds. Okay. Seven sprout. One is edible. So, but you're hungry. You have to kind of figure out, do I continue putting into this crop or do I just start over? Because I've already invested time, energy, money, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And that's a hard place to be when you're hungry because then you'll eat anything because you're hungry. And you don't have to go through this. If you discern, you'll realize maybe it's the wrong season. Maybe the ground was no good. Maybe the seeds were bad. 
Maybe you were supposed to, what people put in, the, the, what, I haven't seen so much stuff, eggshells and whatever, whatever. Ask your maker, the most high, most high, most high will assist you. You have angels and you have uh, spirit guides, you have ancestors that are assigned to you for this reason. I'm telling you, get connected, get connected, baby. All right. Because little by little, there is a change coming in, okay? Here's a small emotional exchange with the Son of Water. This is the masculine of the Page of Cups. So this is going to be a small emotional exchange. It actually feels to me like a really sorry apology, but I'll take it because it don't matter. Come on. Come on, because I know you're coming. Yeah, see, your ancestors already told you that was coming. But this six of water, which is pleasure because it's emotional balance, you can obtain this while this is going on with discernment, logical thinking, staying out your feelings, keep your emotions in check, keep your emotions in check. When somebody says, did you hear? Did you see? Do you know? I don't know shit. Don't ask me shit. I don't know shit. I ain't doing shit. <laughs> Three of air coming in. Three of swords energy. There's going to be some pain, my love. Okay? Don't have to be yours. The pain is not to cause you pain. The pain is to plant a seed of doubt. See that? <coughs> Excuse me. But right behind that is the breakthrough manna what you need when you need it because there's going to be a replenishing a restoration a washing of the spirit divine waters divine love to bring change you see that okay balance is being restored it has to be it has <laughs> Woo. And I thank God for his justice because because outside of that we was all going to shoot it was a bit looking meek, I tell you that. So let's just restore this balance and see what we can do with it. The chariot is coming behind it. Dun dun dun, dun because once balance is restored, the Uber is coming to pick up a few. I, I'm ready. I don't know about y'all. My I got my clothes. I'm going right into abundance. Okay. We're going to go ahead and write into this assignment. We're going to build on this business. We're going to spread this good word of a most high that's given us all this good help. Okay. That's what we're doing, right? Because the only thing against that, all this divine love will be self, uh, self sabotage, you know, looking back futility, futility, Google it. I ain't giving you that one because I need you to feel every part of that. Your security for of earth is not stress. Your security is not pain. Your, your power is not pain. It's not. It's just gotten you by up to this point. That is not your source. It has been a tool. There's a difference. There's a difference. Your source is not pain. Your source is not darkness and stress and chaos. Why do we need to be angry to be productive? No. Everything does not deserve your emotions or an emotional response or for you to have this cuckoo. No. You're stepping into fulfillment, which is bliss. Bliss, my love. Beautiful energy. World energy coming behind this because this is a world energy. I ain't going to lie. All right. But we traveling. We moving. We changing. Shaking things up. Abundance coming in. Cycles are closing. You, A lot of you have expected it. You, I know you have. I have. But this wealth, this wealth shift that's happening right now is un, uh, it, it's surpassing what you can imagine. The biggest thing, I don't know about y'all, 
I can only speak for myself. The biggest thing that I could imagine wealth wise would be like hitting the lottery, right? Um, that's, that's my person. That's my personal wealth. Like, Oh my God, a million dollars. Oh my God, $10 million. Oh, what a hundred million dollars. You know, you, I, that's the only thing that I can imagine because first of all, all of those are more money than I've ever seen so far. Hello. Come on now. Come on so far. Okay. So, uh, but because I don't come from wealth, it's just not in my it's not in my regular thinking that I don't know, I would inherit, you know, something outside of debt. You understand what I'm saying? So that's why it's so far beyond anything that you can imagine. This wealth, look at the boomstick behind it. This new beginning is going to be phenomenal. And I don't care if your neighbor hit the lottery, you better put your hands up. Cause that means the blessings is coming down and you close. You might be next. Okay. You might be next. Small medicine wheel, wheel of fortune, literally 10 of pentacles, boomstick, wheel of fortune. The energy is shifting my loves. It's shifting. Okay. Your downloads are coming in eight of fire. All right. So, I ain't gonna lie, anything anyone is giving you, you make sure you look at it with divine eyes. See past your carnal eyes. You let Look through your discernment, look through your third eye. If you don't have activation yet, pray because this gift is tainted. It's meant to confuse. And I love my daughter of the earth. This is the feminine of the page of pentacles. But she sent, she sent, I ain't gonna lie. She sent purpose to purposely kind of like um, destroy what, what what's in store for you. Kind of like here, accept this basket and you not knowing that behind that basket is your true your true wealth of abundance you're accepting the apples but you missed out on the pears the bananas the grapes the potatoes you, you know what i'm saying things like that be careful use divine i stop breathe hangman energy vision quest is an energy where you stop breathe process Look at it from all angles, all perspectives. Pray about it, all right? And then you make a decision. See, this page was offering you fruit. But at second glance or after this prayer, you're stepping into an emperor energy. Are you kidding me? You were gonna accept the fruit of the page rather than the running of an empire? Grandfather. Integration is coming in. Temperance is coming in. Understanding is coming in. There's a cohesive energy aligning, but there has to be portal. Por it's a portal, portal, split, portal. That That's how I saw it. I don't know about y'all, but of what's coming. But this integration is going to be insane. It, I wouldn't be surprised if y'all put on here, I got an uncle from three times removed on the left side of my cousin with two toes. And Nick, look, I got an inheritance. Ace of Pentacles right there. God darn it. I ain't, you hear me? This thing is coming from nowhere. So you're saying I don't have no family. I was adopted. I don't even play the lottery. I don't know. I live it in my car. You know, it, it, with that mindset, you're not in energy or frequency to receive. Make some room. Push that aside. I just need do it for 30 days. Put that negativity aside for 30 days and just make some room. I'm not asking you if you can't, if you're saying I can't believe until I see, uh, I'll take you, I'll meet you where you are. All I ask is you make some room for the blessing. Make some room. You understand? Because something you're going to have to give up for this to come in. I made a sec, I gave up something that I love 
and I have been doing it for years. You have no idea what these past few days have been. I've been in here shaking, shaking. But it's so worth it. The the re, the downloads I'm getting, the clarity that I have right now, Shama Lama, Mother Love and Ding Dong is so worth it. You're worth it to me. Once I was able to see how I've been seeing and connect like I've been connecting, you, I, the fact that I can get on here and share this with you, uh, you have no idea. I'm blessed just to be right here with you, right? Just to know that I can give you a word. Come on now. Planting seeds for, for the next generation, for the co ones coming behind. Yeah, baby, we making room, okay? We getting a clean plate for these new daughters coming in with this fire. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love Oh, look, there's love for somebody. Oh, I love love. Okay, let's calm down. Let's talk about some love. Ooh, let's talk about love. I love love. Ooh, it's a big love too. Okay, heavy emphasis. I have to mention Scorpio with the father of water here and transformation, which is death energy. I love the Gemini energy. It feels good. Lovers here. I have Pisces also Scorpion with this moon, baby. So heavy Scorpio here. This is a beautiful union, I have to say. Absolutely beautiful. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes. Good grounding, good home bringing, um, home, home, what is it? Home bringing, home grooming. What do you call it? Upbringing. That's what I'm trying to say. Beautiful. All right. Let me go back to those that are like, look, green eyes, you had me for a second. Ain't nobody talking about no dog on love. Okay. Your emotional maturity, intelligence, and control is leading you or a, a, um, realigning your path. I'm sorry. Not, I don't want to say it like that. Realigning. No. Um, like if you're, for those that have, um, you've been probably doing the work. Those are those I'm talking to right now. You've been doing the work. Okay. You're probably pretty much actually on your journey and you know it. Um, you might have, a, a, a an addition. Is, is that how I could say it? addition, uh, an addition? Yeah. I want to say it like that. In addition, maybe um, uh, uh, an additional assignment, additional, uh, spirit guide, additional, um, um, there's an addition coming in. I don't know how to explain that, 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 that's how the message is coming to me. Um, you don't see it yet. The moon is here. Um, but it is going to bring great transformation for you. Um, new life, new energy. It might be a child. I don't know if you have to watch somebody else's child, or you might inherit a child, uh, adopt a child, something like that. Oh, shoot. My stomach is nauseous. Uh, maybe an unforeseen pregnancy. I have to say that. And y'all got me nauseous like I, I'm pregnant and I ain't got no damn uterus. So I don't appreciate this energy. We're going to get out of that. Hello? Um, but still abundant life coming in. It may be a little um, more than you expected, but you'll have enough to take care of it. You understand? So don't fret. Okay? Don't fret. You're doing the work. You're very comfortable. Nine of earth here. Um, Self-love journey, people. Self-love journey, people. I love y'all. I love y'all. Um, Self-love journey, people. I don't know how, how can I say this? I know that you're kind of really not worried. You're kind of open, but not worried about um, relationships. You know, you're kind of really more focused on self. And I love that you are manifesting maybe a connection, like um, somebody to hang out with or, you know, just a homie or whatever. Um, and it's causing you to think about maybe a connection that you had that you disconnected from or they disconnected from you or whatever. God is giving you clarity and um, an opportunity to reconnect. You might be confused by that. Um, only because you're just not trying to go backwards, you know, but it depends on how you, if it's a friend, it's like not love, but it's just somebody to watch the game with. If that's all you really want is somebody to watch the game with, then go watch the damn game. It's people outside, you know, don't make yourself, don't make your situation seem like I would do this if I had, when you don't need to do, 
You understand? As long as you have that mindset that, you know, if I know, if, if I know what to do, I can do it, then you're not going to be able, you're not going to say you can do it and figure it out along the way. I'm just saying, I, I love you, but you know, we talk. Okay. So it's up to you how you handle that, you know, food for thought, but, um, yeah, if you call judgment on that, then it is what it is. That means that you have to stand on it. You know, even if God called judgment, he reveals something to you. You said, I had to let that person go. Then God called judgment. Let's keep it moving. All right. So the only way you can feel stuck is if you feel stuck, you know, but if you look at the situation of, you know, I can get out of this, then you'll figure a way out along the way. You know, sometimes you got to go through this thing, Mike MacGyver. Hello? You ever see that? Is that too old? Sometimes you just got to put some shit together and make it work. Everybody is not going to have, like, sometimes your company is going to have to be enough for a minute. All right? Your spiritual team is right with you. Okay? And your company sometimes is just going to have to be enough until the shift happens. Because this isolation period that you've been in, I know has been hard. Look at that. See the torment? The isolation is sometimes really hard, especially for people who one of the things that they're trying to uh, come out of is codependency. But you're a high priestess. And sometimes that comes with the territory. Okay. So you have to force yourself to go outside. I do it all the time. Uh, you know, I'm a football person, so I've been, I've been crying lately, but I've been trying to go watch my birds. You know, I love my birds, but I try to go to different places, you know, and maybe have a wing or something like that just to be outside, just to be, you know, not feel that I'm this, this, not to the insecurity of isolation, you know, that insecurity of, of poverty, of separation, of being misunderstood, feeling left out in the cold, you know, because that creates that torment. Like I'm being tortured. This is devil energy here. It just creates a toxic mindset, but that's where the enemy will always attack you, your mind first, because he can't touch nothing else. <laughs> You're a child of a most high guy. You better believe it, baby. Most high. Somebody got to get caught too. Um, my masculine, I have two feminines here. You're about to get caught. I love you. Good luck with that. Okay. You already know it too. Look at you scared. See the fear? Clown. Hello? I'm just saying. Love you. Mwah. Don't email me asking me what to do. No, I'm, I can't help you. <laughs> it literally is right here. Two feminines. There's your fear. Clown. Hello? I can't, I can't. Don't blame me. Don't blame me. Others of you, um, these are two either co-workers or family members that are giving you crap or have been giving you crap, kind of talking behind your back. Five of air energy is an energy that's very petty. Uh, nah, 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 nah. Look at such and such. Oh, look at them shoes. Look at that purse. Oh, won't you fix that raggedy car? You know, that's petty. It's just really petty energy. But uh, the new, the clown is that fresh start, leap of faith. You know, it's uh, fool's energy. And, you know, you might be, those of you that are dealing with that, you're saying, look, I'm just better off on my own. So you're kind of stepping into an energy of wisdom. You're not feeling left. You're leaving. There's a difference. Okay. You're not feeling. You said for those people feeling left, God bless you. I'm leaving. That's yeah. Who resonating with that? Mm -hmm. So fellas, that might be you. You said, look, I'm tired of this. Both of these heifers can kick rocks. I'm leaving. I'm trying to grow. Kudos to you for that. Hermit energy is wisdom. That means that you start actually applying the knowledge. You know, wisdom, you know, is not all, it's not about all of a sudden you wake up one day smart. Wisdom is actually doing what you know you're supposed to do. A lot of people know what they should do. That don't mean they do it. That means it's an unwise choice. It's not an 
ill knowledgeable is that a word unknowledgeable it's just unwise but hermit energy is wisdom under divine guidance that means that you actually start doing what you know you're supposed to be doing fight for your right to party your abundance is coming all right for those people, I know it's going to feel like I have to start all over again because that's how this is coming in, especially heavily with my masculines. Guys, you fight for your right to party. Your abundance is coming, all right? If, darn, if you got to start with zero, then you have a clean plate. How about that? You have a clean plate. Don't let this negative thinking take away your fullness of life, Okay? Do not let the negative thinking, you put it into that and you step into the fullness of life. Meaning, so now surround yourself with people that are decent instead of Tom, Dick, Harry, Mo, Joe, and Curly that's fools that don't want nothing and ain't going nowhere. So if you say, I only know, I only got such and such and such and such that's decent, then roll with such and such and such and such. If they not available, then that day you roll by your damn self. That's how you grow. Hierophant coming in with the shaman. You have a calling, my lovely king. Oh, my king. God darn, that's going through me. OMG. <laughs> we got an awakening. God darn, that went through me. Oh, my king. Yes, babies. I love my kings. I'm trying to tell you, my divine masculine. Y'all better come on here and get to work. You stepping on up, baby. We waiting for you. That is just, oh my goodness. So much, oh, I can't even. You ain't ready because I can't even. Whew, it's going to be some work, okay? Inner order. Inner order. Work. Inner strength. Who? God darn. Are you feeling this? Then you can have love. Let's work on you first. Inner order inner strength then we can work on connections okay oh my lovely masculine i ain't did a divine masculine reading in a minute why, why run to what the father okay so it was you father of fire aries leo sag heavy for the masculine um wow i don't even know where to, what, what uh if you are a divine masculine following me and you asking me for about some uh colors, you will you'll know me. All right. I'm trying to tell you, you'll know me. This is all energy. So if you're questioning whether or not you're a divine masculine because of a color, or if I'm addressing you as king and you asking me, Am I talking to you? Get it together. I, I don't even have the crayons. I love you, but get it together. You know who you are. Know what you are, okay? At least a little bit. Because I say all the time, I use terms, he, she, her, him, they, them, it, and heifer. I will use them all. But it's all energy. Never forget that, okay? I don't play around with that. It's all energy. All right, guys. Um, let's pull some treats for all signs since this is my first run out for the general for the year members um i'm gonna post your um winnings on the community board make sure you check that out guys see who the winner is for the free reading leap of faith member you get a free 15 minute boomstick you get a free 30 minute and guys if you have not joined I suggest you get on board. It is a very, very small seed. And every month I do free giveaways. The giveaways cover the membership. Okay. <laughs> Come on now. And you get some good nuggets. Nothing wrong with some nuggets. Let's start with, uh, let me start with fire. Aries. Aries. Come on out. What you doing? 
Aries, you're connecting. Two of Cups is here. You're very, very focused on relationships. You're focused on healthy connections. You're focused on friendships. You just want to be in alignment. If it's not in alignment, you don't want nothing to do with it. You do have a situations where you're uh, qu questioning one of your connections, I have to say. All right. It might be somebody at work or somebody maybe you're that you took under your wing. You're not sure if they're on the up and up. Overall, your focus is very, very forward in life. You have a lot on your plate coming up so pace yourself okay probably about march yeah probably about march you have some um things to deal with or um, actually that's going into your birthday season yeah pace yourself with that baby all right don't get feel overwhelmed pace yourself sag i miss y'all Sagittarius, please and thank you. One card. Uh, here we can see, Sag, this is why we be beefing. This is exactly why. Sag, you are just growing beyond growth, baby. You're growing beyond growth. Hierophant and the lovers. Taurian and Gemini's energy here, okay? You're growing. You're connecting. You're aligning. You are so um, focused, I have to say with what you're doing, with who you're with. Very, very selective and protective right now of your energy. I would expect nothing less from you, okay? You had a rough ordeal, you've regrounded, uh, you've regained strength, and you're now regaining momentum. Kudos, okay? All right, let's have Leo. Leo, Leo. Oh, Leo, is that you? That's a seven of cups trying to turn upside down. So I'm not sure on that. It don't feel right. What it would mean if that was you is that you're very either focused on what you want or you don't want shit. You're looking at your options and say, I don't want none of them. But let's just make sure. Can I have Leo? Please and thank you. And it's the Ace of Swords coming in reverse. Yeah, you uh, and the High Priestess underneath. Leo, you know, you might feel like, you know, you don't know nothing or you ain't saying nothing. and uh, But you know everything, but you're not saying anything. That kind of thing. Am I saying it right? I feel like I'm saying it. Hold on. You know everything, but you're not saying anything. Okay. Um, so, yes, I guess that Seven of Cups would apply to this. You, you're not, you don't want no parts of something. You know something that's going on, but you, you, you don't want no parts of it, okay? Definitely. I don't, there you go right there sitting. You say, I'm going to mind my business, and I'm minding the business that pays me. I'm minding the business that minds me. Y'all go ahead with that. Yeah. You're staying out of drama in all ways, shapes, and forms. Yeah, you're voluntarily like, I don't want no parts of no foolishness. I don't know what's going on around you and your energy. We'll get to it when I get to you. But um, I do like the fact that you already foresee and you're acting on that. So kudos to you for that. All right. Let's step into some water. I'm feeling Pisces. Pisces, you feel scared to me. Let me have Pisces, please. Please and thank you. I have a Six of Cups and I have a Six of Pentacles. I like that. I know you're uncomfortable with it because, you know, Six is forward movement, even though we don't see it as forward movement, okay? Um, it comes off like sometimes it feels very complacent, very stagnant, very still, but it really is a forward moving energy. Um, Six of Pentacles is an energy of manna. It's not that big lump sum, but it is what you need what, when you need it. It's to get, it's to help you keep balance or maintain or get by. All right. This is emotional balance. Same thing in emotions. Okay. With the cups. This also represents assistance, past life assistance, spiritual assistance, but it's still a very forward moving energy. So if you feel like things have been still for you lately, hold on. Okay. Hold on. Because in a minute, you're going to get an opportunity to mow through. Yeah. You got to wait for this change too. 
you're one of those ones. Yeah, see, this world change is going to affect people, and it's not a bad effect. Some of you, Pisces, if you just maintain balance for a little while and let the world world for a second, you'll um, slip right through that, okay? Cancer. Cancer. Cancer, please and thank you. Hello. Cancer, you're coming in sideways with that Knight of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. I'm, I'm not feeling this. I ain't going to lie. Um, let me say this. Knight of Wands energy, you know, is inconsistent. It's fun. It's very, it's uh, passionate. Um, the Knight means what he says to you when you're together, but he can't stay. That's the thing about it. He has to go, you know? So Kansas, I don't know if you're kind of like in the middle of sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't, you know, um, you're thinking about doing something, but you're not sure, you know? So maybe, you know, there's a small exchange here. Like I like you, but I um, you know, but I ain't doing all that. <laughs> not yet. Anyway. <laughs> Yeah, um, I like that because it, it kind of gives you a sense of like, I guess, control right now, a little bit of superior energy for to control. So maybe you that's kind of like in between. Um, look, I got to keep it moving. I can't I can't sit down right now. If I sit down right now, I ain't getting up, you know, and you already know that it's an energy that you kind of really aren't impressed by. So I'm definitely intrigued to see what your guys' reading is about. That looked like it's going to be fun. <laughs> All right, Scorpio. Scorpio. Come on, baby. Come on out. Y'all got some money. You said, I ain't got shit. <laughs> I don't see nothing. <laughs> Stop lying. You fighting too. I don't have shit. <laughs> Scorpio, listen, um, I know you don't want to see it. You don't want to believe it, but you're going to have to face this. It's not, no way around it. it you know? You're going to have to face it. There's no way around it. You you can act like I don't see nothing. I hear enough. What is it? I don't see. I don't hear. I don't speak evil. Your name ain't damn monkey. It's Scorpio. How about that? You're going to have to face this, guys. Seriously, you're going to have to stand and look. There's a betrayal. This is what you don't want to see, even though you know it's already there. That's how this feels to me. I feel like God bless you. I feel like you want to share a blessing. And I feel like you're, uh, not, uh, your intuition is saying not yet. Or something is happening in your life that's forcing you to have to wait. So if you're like getting ready to buy a car, you're waiting for, I don't know, the license to come in the mail or something, you, you know, there's some type of, there's divine intervention in your energy. That's what I want to say. There's divine intervention in your energy. And during the process of intervention, there's a reveal that you're trying to avoid seeing because you feel like if I can just move forward, I'll be fine. But you have to face it because in the future, if you don't Deal with this now. In the future, you're going to be trying to play the victim card. And you're not not—you're not a victim. You're going in with your eyes open, whether you want to or not. So when you actually do open your eyes, it's going to feel like OMG, like a betrayal. Like, how could you? I'm so stressed out and blah, 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 blah. But the sun had to come up. It has to be a reveal. See? All right? So just know that balance will be restored in your life. You will celebrate. You are celebrated. You know, portal energy is here, but it's going to look, a loss is coming with it. A loss is coming with it, babe. I ain't going to lie. Should have, would have, could have, is there. Yeah, but you'll heal. Oh, look at that. You'll be great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, What do we do? We did fire. We did water. I guess earth. Capricorn, you ready? Mm -hmm. 
Capricorn. Come on through. Mm. I, I, I was getting ready to say, is that an old man's shoe? And, and the Seven of Swords is coming out. I, you know, Caps, I don't know how, first of all. Uh, let me say that. I don't know how somebody is saying this, but I think it's somebody talking about your clothes behind your back. Let me see. Yeah. The, see the betrayal? I think somebody's talking about you like your, your clothes. Because I'm telling you, I was seeing a damn shoe, or like an old shoe. They better stop before you hit them upside the head with the shit. Here go the boomstick. You better, unga bunga. Like, what'd I just say? <laughs> unga bunga. And there go justice right behind it. I don't even have to say nothing. Caps, you already know you are covered. You are protected. And you are given whatever tools you need to handle the situation. Just don't call me. I don't have no bail money, baby. All right. I love you. All right. So make sure you handle this from the throne. In spirit, all right. Let people let petty be petty. Lead them where they at. Taurus, come on through. I see you. Come on. No, you gotta calm down. Oh, you gotta calm down, Taurus. <sighs> Wheel of Fortune. You so hype. Look at you in the sun. You are super hype. <laughs> Taurus is tweaking. <laughs> what got you so excited? Oh my goodness, my stomach hurt. You are so excited. God bless you. You did you meet somebody? You did something. That's what it was. You did something, and you 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 feel like you're so proud of yourself. God bless you. God bless you. You are so proud. You're doing something, and you're getting away, and 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 you you are so proud of yourself. Do the doggone thing, will you? I ain't mad at you. I ain't mad at you. But you know, I don't, you know, y'all had one. I don't even know where it went. I might have to change the decks because you know I don't like the floor when I'm reading. All right. Hold on. Virgo. I need a deck for you, baby. Ugh. Taurus and got hype and messed it up for everybody. That's why y'all get blamed for messing up the party all the time. You say, I ain't do nothing. All right, let's have Virgo. Come on. Virgos. There you go. Ooh. I don't know if I want to touch that. Virgo, what you got going on? Huh. When the devil comes out with the Ace of Pentacles, um, either this is a loan, uh, repayment, or theft. Um, it's it's the devil. It's this is a divine blessing. The Ace of Pentacles. There's the divine hand passing it to you but the devil is trying to taint this my ears are ringing hold on hold on huh virgo i would say um be mindful of your um, your finances, especially with younger family members. All right. Hmm. Yeah, especially with younger family members. Also, you might have a loved one, uh, maybe your partner or boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, that's getting a divine gift and they're going to gift you. The only problem is that I don't think you like them the way they like you. You know? Yeah. That's that's going to cause some inner conflict with you. Um, because you are truly, like, 
underneath it all and around all the foolishness that they say about y'all, I know for a fact that y'all really do mean well, you know? So if they give you this gift, you might want to kind of reconsider the, um, the relationship, you know, maybe give it a fresh start. Mm. Time will tell. Air signs. Aquarius. Come on in here. Let me see if your socks match you. Aquarius energy, please, and thank you. I have the Six of Cups, Six of Chalices. It was a little this way, but it feels right to me up front. So it looks like you're in a state of emotional balance, um, divine guidance, boomstick at the bottom. Yeah, that's why I say it feels upright. Um, you're, you're, you're getting your, what do you call it? You got your pass. You got your green, green light. You're ready to go. Oh, big time. Okay, you're stepping into very independent energy, hugely abundant, independent energy. Ace of Wands to the Nine of Pentacles, yeah. <laughs> Y'all still been that threesome. I mean, sorry. Aquarius, we'll talk. Sorry. I'm sorry, I mean to say that. This is a general reading. Mind y'all damn business. This is for Aquariuses. Don't be talking about them. Aquarius, we're going to talk about that, okay? Another time, another time. Gemini. All right, let's go. Gemini, come on, baby. Come on. Gemini, your energy is very full to me. Like I feel, just coming into it, I feel very full. Uh, six of Wands, Three of Swords. Uh, yeah, you you won, you know? Um, it, it might not seem like it all the way, but overall, you're getting up, you're, you're coming out on top, okay? Maybe with a water sign, Queen of Cups is here, but you're just stepping into an energy of love, of love of life, of love of self, um, but you won, okay? Take it and run with it. The chariot is right here to pick you up. So yeah, take this win and run with it. Close out this cycle, the world right behind that, and move on to whatever it is that's next for you. What's next for you is coming in um, a little bit, you know, like you're unimpressed. Well, I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't really want that. I don't really want this. But in that energy, sometimes you just got to focus with, you know, all right, I got, I got this. I got that. I know going forward. My, my focus is quality and not quantity. You know what I mean? That's going to change, um, you know, as your light comes on, shines through with the sun here, you'll start to get some new ideas, some new um, opportunities. King of Wands, your passion will start picking up. Options will start coming in. Um, you're going to be busy too. Busy, busy, busy. Good Lord. Two of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles. Yeah, work might be uh, getting ready to get real busy for you. All right, and it's going to open up opportunity for you to kind of, um, I guess, uh, get away from get away from it all. Some people you, go to work to get away, and that might be what you're getting ready to do. Maybe take a second job or something like that. Okay, Libra, I love you guys, but I get so much slack. From all the other signs, and I'm going to say it now because everybody's here, that I always favor you. And when I check my books, I don't see it. It seems I know I do element, one element at a time. You know? Libra. Come on, Justice. Come on through. Libra. Hey. 
if, if it ain't a problem, it ain't us. I'm trying to tell you. God darn. This is so much inner conflict. I don't know what's going on. Libra. Why? Again, five of wands, three of swords. This inner conflict, this conflict, conflict on top of conflict, confusion, loss, pain. And you say, I don't know. I'm just trying to love myself. I don't know why it's so hard for me to love me because you're new at it. Okay. You're just new at it. All right. So when you have an opportunity, chariot energy, you got some motion coming in here with you, um, to have some new beginnings with the full. Okay. Just know that you're going to make a connection and it'll be a better connection and it'll be another connection. All right. Especially with relationships right now, right at the time come, come Harry, right at the Harry come Sally at the Sally come Joe, you know, um, look, it, it, they're coming. Okay, even with the lovers, look, two of cups and the lovers, they coming from the woodworks, they coming from the mother loving woodworks, the, they done turned the lights on and the roaches are scattering, you understand? <laughs> Libra, you're getting ready to have some serious um, energy of attraction. Yeah, they coming out the woodworks, baby. They some of them want to make you a third party. I have to say that. Yeah, they just want just get away from it. Six of Swords, okay? Get away from that. Though you're going to see the ones playing games. It's going to be really obvious. Just get away from it. You know what you want. All right? Focus on that. Don't get sidetracked with what's going on in the world. Judgment is coming. Let them be them. You be you, okay? With your finances. Darn, that's always an attack. You got to wait for that world energy to pass too. Yep. The world energy is passing over. The, the, everything that I've been talking about, once this passes over, uh, when these portals finish, you, you should realign. That's not for every... Oh, no. That's not for everybody. Some of you have something already. You just got something. Yeah, you got something to hold you over. There's more coming, all right? Relax. Keep working. Keep doing what you're doing. Relax. Keep your emotions balanced. New beginnings are coming, especially finances. You get it all areas. Look, I'm going from the pentacles right to the cups. Yeah, 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 yeah. All areas. All areas. There might be, you might be having somebody transitioning as well. Yeah. All right. Um, guys. I wanted to give you all a little taste because I know I have missed you and I haven't been getting the messages out this year, but if you have not done what, um, like I said, what, what I did, which is just take some time out with you and your maker, please do so. All right. And even if I'm your sacrifice, if YouTube is your sacrifice, I will gladly lose you. Uh, to see you uh, in the kingdom. You know what I'm saying? I will gladly, whatever the case is, whatever your fast is, whatever that release is, please do it. It's so worth it. So worth it. All right. Now, if in the event you say green eyes, I don't even know you was all over the place. You did all the signs. My name is Earl, like my Gemini's. <laughs> um, Please, uh, you're more than welcome to check out another reading, check the channel, um, but don't take any of this energy because if it's not yours, that means it's not for you, okay? Leave it here for someone else. Please do not forget to thumbs up the reading, thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, it supports the channel, guys, and it's, it's free, you know, that part, yeah, free. Members. Leap of Faith, Boomstick, if memberships are available, you can. there's a membership tab if you want to join. Under the video, there's an, a link to join. Um, it's a very small seed. You do get access to more readings. Leap of Faith gets a little more. Boomstick gets uh, the most. They have all access, all right? And they both get free giveaways every single month. So jump on board. Other than that, we are all perfectly imperfect. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.